My name is John Evans. Um, I live and operate out of the United States. Uh, I have worldwide clientele for safety management, safety quality environmental management systems. I've uh, formerly sailed as chief engineer, but for the last 18 years, since 1994, I've been a management system consultant. Part of my duties include um, helping companies develop and maintain safety management systems. Uh, I do training in lectures, I do training on board vessels and in company offices and work close, closely with both shipboard crews and uh, company officers. A lot of the duties I, I uh, currently participate in is uh, shipboard and shore-based audits of management systems, and um, that's the experience that I come from. There, there are a few companies that do a pretty good job of training and, and, that, uh, and believe in training, but by, in large part, I think most companies are missing an enormous opportunity. Um, typically, what I find when I do audits, uh, having done 26 audits so far this year, is that companies will either not believe in training, um, don't really support training, look at it as a, as a cost center or lack rather than an investment. Training could just be a discussion, um, some one-on-one -on -one instruction, maybe just watching a video. There's, there's relatively uh, very little feedback from the trainee himself to whether that training was applicable to him, to the task he was conducting, uh, to his level of skill. Did it enhance it? Did it confer any competency on him? There's really no check of that. And it's kind of a checkbox mentality where, uh, and, and unfortunately auditors support this, to where if somebody has training on board, be that familiarization or having watched videos or received personal instruction, that that is validated by a, a check uh, box and nobody really looks at the underlying training and the efficacy of the training to determine whether it's it's taken whether it was effective whether it was appropriate and consequently if there is an accident then what seems to happen is the corrective action applied is apply training and then this this sort of vicious cycle uh, comes up where ineffective training led to the accident and the remedy for that is more ineffective training and the problem I see is that uh, class and, and flag and port state control auditors and officers that come aboard to verify training don't look at anything other than is the box checked? Has training been done? Regardless of the e efficacy of the training at all. And I think this is, they're, they're supporting companies not really uh, fulfilling the training requirements. And they almost give the companies license to do uh, slipshod training, if, if any training at all, as long as that box is checked. And I think it ends up like a dog chasing his tail. And with the economic climate in the shipping industry, it seems the first thing that's cut is the training budget. And I think it should be the other way around. Uh, accidents are very expensive. Uh, it's much more cost effective to apply effective training than clean up after an accident. I, I believe that uh, uh, training can be done uh, uh, sort of a blended approach, I mean, much as, as we do at Videotel, uh, where the, the training is sort of multifaceted. There's, there's printed material, there's video clips, um, there's uh, a test at the end to make sure that, that that sort of multifaceted training actually took. And then ultimately, department heads and senior officers can watch whether the training has kicked in in practice to see whether the person has mastered um, the material or not. Um, I mean, anything less than that, I think, uh, in my experience of having done audits on board ships for many years, and I find people who profess to have been trained, and they say, yes, I've had that training. I ask them a few simple questions as to what the content of the training was, and many times they draw a blank, kind of proving that the training didn't really stick and it was ineffective. And I don't think companies are grasping this to the extent that they should that they need to take a little bit more responsibility for if they're going to throw any, any operating budget at all at a training program. They owe it to the, to the trainee and they owe it to the, the, the culture of safety on the vessel to get some feedback as to whether and, and to what extent the training was effective. And I think just checking a box is, uh, is not the way to go.